Welcome everybody to a very interesting session this morning on peace. It is a very special day today as we're going to join together and meditate for our inner peace first and spread this peace and light and joy in the world. So I'd like to welcome you all. There are so many people joining in. There is uh, Corrine and there is Sejal from Pune. There is Mamta. There is Firuza. There is Neha. And I'm so happy to welcome you all. There is Salima from New Caledonia. There is Kaizad and so many other people just joining in. Come and say hi to me and I'd be very happy and delighted. I've been missing this human interaction and learning to deal with a screen. But thank you very much, Facebook, for making this possible. Niru, Devki, all of you, a warm welcome to you all. And so happy that you're all there. Yasmin, Dr. Yasmin and Dr. Sujata Wadle from Reach Candy Hospital. Wonderful, thank, please thank all the doctors there in the team and all the hospital staff who are working day and night for the coronavirus. Dipika Kehani, thank you, thank you for being there. Lovely Ulka. And there is also oh, Preeti Vyas, Preeti, hi. There is also Priti who's joining in from Lagos. And there is Deepika. There is Rabi. So many people. I'm so happy to have you all this morning. And let us have a lot of sharing today and interaction so that you can share. We've been having seven meditations now. And we've been discovering various aspects of ourselves and building those aspects, strengthening them during this period where we are all facing difficulties, all kinds of anxieties, all kinds of uh, tensions which are creating for us a lack of clarity about where and what our direction in the future is going to be. In this situation, let me welcome all of you and can you share a few of the thoughts and experiences that you have so that I can read them out as I'm looking at all the messages that are coming in. Dinesh, there is Dinesh from Muscat, there is Vicky from Dubai, there, is, uh, there are so many people, uh, there is Mamta from US, Hemant and Mamta and let's look at everybody. My whole thinking was that let us create together a collective, a tribe, a community of meditators so that we can spread this energy, this vibrational radiance in the world to handle this world crisis. There is so much that we can actually achieve sitting at home. Just this morning, I was watching this beautiful concert, which was One World Together, Stay at Home. And Lady Gaga did a fabulous job of the song Smile. And realize that let us begin today also with a smile in our hearts and smile to everyone in the room who's around being there. And a smile to you too, Saloni in Chennai. Great being there. And let's begin today with your sharing. How are you feeling? There's Deepika who's saying, if I don't start my day with meditation, the day is somehow very stressful and chaotic. I'm working from home long hours and I really feel empowered by this. Firoza and Kubra. Kubra, Stay on the line. You're also saying something, but I can't really figure out what. Just read it aloud. <laughs> and uh, everyone today is looking for this one very powerful 
powerful energy which is the energy of peace and also today i have with me ashdin my son who's joining me this morning hi guys he's great at podcasting and you must have probably seen and viewed some of his podcasts the habit coach so while i'll be talking about maybe the spiritual aspects and dimension of meditation he will tell you about how to really create strong habits within you because every time people say oh i really want to meditate but you know thoughts come in i feel lazy i feel sad i want to really relax don't want to really do it today maybe i'll do it a little later and so yeah uh, ashton you have a solution to that right i think one of the biggest things is that we keep putting off this whole thought of meditating and then we start getting more anxious that we're not meditating and then this becomes a loop right like i keep telling mom that you know you're te- doing such a fantastic job teaching everybody meditation right and if it doesn't become a part of their everyday life it's useless true right, right. so the whole thing about meditation is that it should be a part of what you're doing on a daily ba- basis not just once in a while and you know in fact i think mom today you want to talk about how you can actually start exactly doing that. you know i wanted to give it to you like a prescription a daily 365 day prescription where meditation in small doses daily becomes your staple all right just small days of doses of meditation regularly will create that peace and wellness within of course there are other ways in which you can create wellness too prayer helps gratitude journaling or gratitude from your heart helps and obviously yoga and the physical dimension of wellness what is we also eat. and of course nutrition what i don't eat, i so important not eat. forget that yes right? and also nutrition so it's a journey of a thousand steps but let us begin with one step at a time and let us realize that the peace that exists is within us it is not on the outside so don't go about searching for peace outside like we frequently look for peace in things like a quick pop of a, a kind of an antidepressant or you know a quick fix a quick fix some quick fix maybe just listen to music okay for a while i'll feel fine but then again the bubbles of pain will suddenly start coming up and there we go again. it's like i like mountaineering and i like going to the mountains and there's this lovely phrase that says that if you're going to the mountains to search for peace you will soon realize that you have to bring the peace along with you yes so the peace actually exists in you right. it can't be in the environment that you're trying to create okay. the peace is right here in your own spirit in your heart and aparna is saying something interesting she's saying how do we pin down the kids to meditate in any way ah that's a good question aparna i'm going to take this up and i'm going to have a special meditation for kids next week so just tune in and really find out when it is and all my sweet hearts can sit and meditate with me i think it'll be a lovely idea <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a lovely idea yes yeah. great and i feel that maybe today also you could have your family join in and uh, stay connected so that lots of things can be handled you know like priti vyas says i've been doing your meditation vilima for a long time consistently every morning and that is the first thing i do and that has been like the transformative experience for me which has helped me 360 degrees wow. there is not an aspect of my life every dimension that has seen a wonderful change somewhere dramatically and somewhere in nuances New i feel that i carry a lovely island of peace within me and no matter what is happening priti is at peace great priti to hear that and i'm so happy to know that we already started having so many join in to get this grounding as rabi says meditation makes me feel grounded and peaceful 
and I feel I'm able to handle stresses and stressful situations much better. And so, yes, it is a very powerful interaction with you and yourself that happens when we start meditating. And we have to realize that within us, there is this huge superpower that exists within us, this energy which is so abundant and we have not been using it for so long. So let's wake up, let's give ourselves this kind of absolute uh, habit day to day, day in and day out to become that superpower. <laughs> Kubra is saying something interesting. What She's is saying, saying why is it that some people feel meditation is not for them? Ah, good question. I have, a, I have a very yeah. interesting answer to this. Okay. So I was recently doing a course on meditation um, and mindfulness in terms of it. And they said something very interesting. They said most people think about people who meditate in three or four buckets. So mm -hmm. there is this one bucket which is the monk. That is austere, yeah. sits in one place, has to give up all his worldly uh, possessions. Okay. Right? Then they think of... The zombie, the person who's been meditating so long that he has no reality connection. or no connection to reality <laughs> whatsoever. Right. He just walks around in, in a zombie trance, 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 in a trance, trance state. Trance, yeah. right? Then there is the warrior, you know, the ninja that we think of, that who's meditating and it, meditation gives them superpowers. So there is so much of a misconception around meditation and mindfulness that it becomes very hard for us to break that clutter. The way I see meditation and I started meditation very late because after all, it was my mom that was teaching it and no kid wants to do what their mom tells them to do, right? So I learned meditation much later, unfortunately. But what happened was when I started learning meditation, it gave me the peace of mind to start focusing on all the things that I wanted to do. So like all the podcasts, all the videos, creating the scripts. When I meditate before that, I can see a dramatic improvement in the quality that I put out. So now I associate the quality with the meditation. So now every time I want that quality, I remember that I have to put in that meditation. Because saying so true. Right? And get that peace of mind before right. I can actually do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So today we realize that there are so many big transformations, little changes, big changes, all have happened through this powerhouse which we awaken within us. And that then opens up new dimensions, new qualities, new fascinating aspects of ourselves which we've never discovered till now. Ashwin, you want to add anything to this? No, I think it's a superpower that we need to learn to harness. <laughs> yes. So as the Lama said, that world peace begins with inner peace. So let us begin today by first discovering the peace within us. And when we realize this inner sanctuary, this inner feeling of confidence, silence, that ease that comes in being yourself, not trying to be someone else, you know, otherwise in our society today, everyone is watching you and those eyes become like super search, judgmental mechanisms guiding every aspect of our life. No, no, no. Let's just close our entire thinking about the outer world. The inner world has all the wealth. The inner world is waiting to open up and give you that superpower. So, are we all ready to begin Perfect. with the meditation? Anything else that anyone wants to share? Any last comment that comes in? Juliana is watching. Yes. Neha said mm. something interesting. She said meditation is like food for the soul. Oh, wow, Neha. That, that is, that is, absolutely. Shazneen from Dallas. Yes, Shazneen, what are you saying? Thank you for the amazing technique of meditation. I have been doing it religiously every day and it has brought an amazing, uh, see more, <laughs> amazing 
probably see change oh, transformation it, transformation indeed. made me so joyous peaceful and brought a state of complete awareness in my life with full security in my being yes now that's very important you feel protected you feel secure you feel confident and you feel alive those are yes the true values and it's beautiful to see that everyone is tuning in to that but creating that value in your life hi armin <laughs> all right yes. so i'm going to go to the other side enjoy your meditation all right great great veena So let us look forward to giving ourselves this gift again this morning the gift of peace there was also a beautiful song this morning which was about how you can give this gift of peace to yourself and it was lovely and so let us now start tuning in our instruments as i've told you just very briefly that we are powerful instruments of peace and this instrument is simple like all the seven notes that exist in music within us also we have these seven important energy points or what are known as chakras or nerve centers seven of them there are seven colors of rainbows seven notes of music seven beautiful and glorious inner qualities to be awakened and so seven is that magical number is it attached to mm. <laughs> or right. so let's begin now by slowly drawing our attention inwards and taking this journey let us begin with all our creative powers to realize the energy which is the big powerful energy residing within us and it is this energy the inner kundalini shakti which exists and we awaits to be awakened so first all of you find a place for yourself you could sit down on the ground you could lie down flat on the ground you could sit on a chair feel comfortable wherever you are just relax just place your palms on the lap your feet firmly grounded on the floor if you're sitting in a chair and your back straight is our nervous system so our meditation is rooted in the science of our human biology beautiful as we tune into the music 
and the music of our inside perhaps you can get aware of the thoughts that are coming in the dialogue that is going inside the inner dialogue let us become aware of that and slowly tune out completely from the environment with a deep breath in relaxing from your stomach moving up to the chest region and feeling the breath going in and out in gentle waves very beautiful and calm peaceful and serene yes keep your eyes closed I cannot see you but keep it closed just gently let it drop down and now we begin with the process of giving energy to those seven nodes within the seven nerve centers of chakras one at a time so we draw the energy from the left palm the energy of the higher powers of the universe and we awaken our inner power with our right palm so we're using both our hands in this process one as a receiver and the other as a transmitter beautiful and still now take your hand to the first nerve center which is at the root of your spine at the back the base position your palm over there and let's begin to tune in the note this chakra gives you the strength awaken this strong groundedness at the base of the spine and root yourself to reality to the real world at this chakra and deep roots of strength strength is the energy positive energy of this beautiful nerve center
let us move now if we've awakened the strength to handle all the aspects of the current crisis the crisis let us move to the second nerve center at the center about two and a half inches below the navel point second note or the second nerve center we tune into to awaken our dimension of creativity the big resource which helps us to solve all our problems and to solve them innovatively creatively new ideas new thoughts new patterns big change and let us open up this chakra completely today so that while we are staying at home let all our creative potential open up and give us that joy and peace music poems painting all the different creative forces within you let them be expressed as we are playing on this flute of peace within we go to the next note the third note this resides at our center point in the stomach region with the center of the abdomen this in a source of mastery resides master you are your own master remember that that the peace within gives you all the possible abilities to master your life and not crumble away during difficulties that today you may feel a little lack of power maybe because of the economics of the current crisis but have that in a absolute strength to realize that you will be able to master this and recreate the new you a better version of yourself from this inner radiating possibility this is where also your guru tatva the inner light resides radiate this light of being the master in your life great qualities let's move up cross the sea of illusions which is around the entire abdominal region and steer away from all the 
bonds of our life things which bind us and do not let us progress let us move away from that entire state of wrong thoughts wrong feelings illusions and delusions and move to our heart point as you work on this note and tune in the most beautiful energy starts flowing from the center the energy of love the energy of abundant inner peace the silence the comfort and security in your confidence fears of all vanished is that was not the right note it doesn't strike the harmony let them all go just breathe them out all the negative toxic ideas thoughts crazy feelings anxiety for the future just let go just make this note pure and strong and strike the chord of harmony within you as you connect all the new nerve centers from down up If there is any pain that you experience over here just gently give it the vibrations of love and peace rotate your palm in a clockwise direction and heal that center heal that area anandam and joy and shanti om shanti let us awaken this deep peace with it and as the central note is opened up now we move to the throat region this beautiful note can sing songs of yours and stories of yours which 
give you the positive energy to connect with everyone in the world the words you share with people the language of love will help you to open up the hearts of others and bring and share the peace with them so this note realizes the ability to listen to yourself the inner conversations that you have listen to them and see if they are negative judgmental not developing your own self in any way and helping you just breathe them out you know like a instrument a wind instrument just blow it out let your breath heal this nerve center let guilt and all that is suppressing the truth of who you are be released and over here realize the positive value of connection with everyone and your collective consciousness opens up So let us join together in this peace and harmony as a big collective realizing all the powers within us Slowly let us move to the next level of our being which is in the forehead region put your palm across to give it the energy to open up this shakti this note this power it is a super power you are ascending now to the higher powers which are there within you the power of inner bliss which comes from forgiveness let us forgive 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 endlessly forgive everyone who is in our inner space and outer space whatever mistakes of the past memories of the past let it all go be willing to open up your hearts to forgive at the nerve center so you work with your own true self your spirit to be forgiving 
forgiveness, forgiveness. And as you forgive, your third eye opens up, which gives you all the joy of intuition, the powers to look at the world and make the right decisions. And all that knowledge flows from within. The whole universe is within you. The knowledge of the self and knowledge of everything around you is the power within. All you have to do is just play this music through this note of being humble, forgiving and not letting your ego and your super ego dominate you. The two forces, the ego and the super ego, they are right here residing at the line of your skull where the hair starts growing at that point inside in the brain if you cross connect there these two forces are suppressing your true being it's all conditioning People have said, you must do this, you must do that. And the ego which says, I am suffering. Let both those forces be just gently softened and surrendered. Surrendered completely. Yes, I can feel that. In fact, let me tell you that while you're doing this process, I am constantly sending the healing energy and the energy for peace to you at every step of the way in this journey. I wanted to dwell a little more on this nerve center because it is your complete body of powerful brain and mental resources, your consciousness which takes you to the highest. And then you slowly ascend to the highest point in your brain, in your mental states and in your emotional states where both logic and sensitivity of emotions reside. Your as we open up this magnificent nerve center with thousands of nerve potentials opening up in your brain and bringing up an awakening which is all powerful and magical. This is where 
magical music of your true self happens as it brings you in balance in harmony and in that superpower state of your inner being this is where you realize the truth of who you are who you truly are and all the forces are harmonized over here in this satya realization realization of the truth the purity pressure it over here slightly in the skull region where there is a tiny opening to let your energy your kundalini power to come out through this tiny little opening that soft bone fontanel point and rise and you take your palm a little higher and as you position it there you begin to realize a kind of vibrational coolness about yourself a lot of tensions are coming out you will experience a lot of heat sensations also you could check it out on the left side with your left palm and with it on top of the head your palm getting the energy vibrations in terms of it being cool or warm or just very cold let us be now beautiful be peaceful let us stay in silence for a while in a state of thought free awareness when there are zero thoughts that's when you have moved into meditation there stay as long as you want but now let us give ourselves a protection so let us just take our hand and move it around us about 2 and a half feet away from us to form a beautiful protective energy sheet or energy body for all the seven shakti points like this seven times your 
everybody and see become aware of your experiences that you had during this meditation gently whenever you're ready take your attention outwards and acknowledge yourself in complete gratitude for the gift you've given to yourself today the gift of peace the gift of inner silence and the strength and the confidence to handle it all the creativity and the powers within which you have which as i said are amazing do use them every day and realize that you are a very very beautiful human being and let that inner peace now be shared in the world let it radiate outside and you keep gifting this peace to as many people and as mother teresa says you begin peace always with a smile and so share that smile with others share the laughter share the joy and truly become a positive energy radiating peace it is wonderful to be with you this session and actually maybe we can have a few questions or a sharing of your experiences a little bit of that before we tune out madhuri says thank you ma for the love the energy and the healing you give us thank you for the gift of meditation wonderful madhuri lovely to be with you mrs international Thank you thank you thank you Monish from Pune says beautiful thank you so much ma everyone is acknowledging in gratitude and thanking and realizing that we are all together today creating this super abundant love in the world sharing this lo love and creating the peace and creating that oneness that oneness within deepest peace in your eyes i can see yes okay thank you ek ek khan h khan that's our mean yeah and preeti thank you very much feeling extremely peaceful and a sense of calm thank you so lovely the session you give us is amazing thank you for the personal empowerment feeling great as always and so on pranaya says it was a beautiful session felt a surreal connection 
someone is saying my muscle tightness the back relaxed and someone else is saying my heart is feeling good and happy and katie thank you someone saying you made my day wonderful <laughs> and uh, so the experience of connection with pure joy is always amazing and to thank everyone thank facebook thank all those who shared this with hundreds of people today i had sent out a message please share it with at least 100 friends on your social media so that people can join in and i'm happy that we have people coming in so grateful to you all to spend this morning with us i know that maybe this time of the day may not be suitable for everyone all around the world and so i would like your feedback in terms of when do you think is the best time that we can have this meditation there was someone who suggested why don't we have this blissful meditation every day probably we could do that do suggest the time of the day when we can connect for about 15 to 20 minutes every day and do this together while we can while we are in the secure home territory yes so what finally yes i would like you all to do is really share share and share this handle with people the whole idea of coming on this platform and digitally sharing this knowledge which is actually the knowledge of thousands of years and creating this community of meditators tribe of meditators is to bring about that big change in the world so please keep sharing 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 press that button and share and on every social media platform we are going to be present so this meditation will be there on the youtube it will be there on the instagram and it will also be there for you recorded on the facebook so do stay tuned in you can meditate regularly every day and as habit can be formed ashton said do form a habit of meditation don't wait for your big motivating tidbits to fall in place so that one fine day maybe you will start meditating regularly start it here and now right now from today i'm sure there are a lot of first time people who joined in today but those who been there on all the seven meditations i would like you all to please write and share to me share with me all the experiences that you've collected and gathered during these 7 to 8 meditations we've had together i shall always be having also a question answer session with you so that we can connect also at this level of exchanging thoughts and ideas so today we as we draw closer to the end of this now i would suggest that you share this piece with everyone in the world and i'm reminded of the lyrics of john lennon's song you remember that song imagine imagine, imagine. and i thought a few lines of the the song could be wonderful to end with ashton will you sing along with me sure let's start <laughs> Imagine all the people living life in peace. You who you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And one day you will find us. <laughs> and the, the world, world will, will be, be as one, as one. <laughs> all my okay. love all my joy all my peace all my happiness stay tuned and see you again